Here we go, 2007 Challenger. You got the nose cone access panel. There's the Kunselman fuse box underneath there. Um, third door option. Makes it a lot easier getting in and out of. Hydraulic disc brake, push to talk, radio, Garmin GPS 296, engine information system by Grand Rapids. Turn that on for you. There we go. So you got cylinder head, voltage, um, exhaust gas for each cylinder, uh, electric fuel pump on top of the diaphragm pump that's standard on the Rotax. Um, let's see here, turn that off. Um, trying to remember the name of this. Oh yeah, Lynx Micro headset front and rear. Um, here's the push to talk for the passenger. Yeah, 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 it's dark. Uh, let me see if I can turn on light. Let's try this again. I turned on the light. So here's uh, 148 hours total time on the engine and plane. Uh, your master EIS strobes. It's got the Kunselman strobes. And there's that link system. Here's the Pilot 2, of course, dual controls. Um, here's the heater tube. I have the heater attachment. Uh, a little storage package or storage box. 10 gallon fuel tank. Here's the new wings I covered. Oh yeah. Stainless steel brackets with the heavy lift kit. So, uh, yeah. Pretty self-explanatory, top and bottom. Um, there's the, uh, I'm drawing a blank. You know what it is. Um, but it's got a double D battery, so a lot easier to service. I just put fresh ones in there. There's the arm and disarm for it, remote. Trim tab. So there's a strobe with the LED marker lights. I like this uh, clamp better than the spring ones. So you don't have to worry about springs falling off. Uh, I just replaced all these bushings. I think I did that in July or August. New belt. It's, now it's a GT4. There's the power fin prop. So we hit something. It's not on this one. Oh, but there's that defect in the paint right there I was telling you about. A little rub mark right there. Um, yeah, this is the hole I was telling you about from it, from folding that in. Well, hold on a second, babe. Anyways, another rub mark from transporting, folding that up. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you could just tape or something over it. It bothered you how it's, it hasn't moved or anything, gotten bigger. Yeah, there's another rub mark from 
you know, when they fold the wings up, the ailerons, or not ailerons, elevators up. So yeah, when you transport it, you just take this off and that folds up. Here's the ID plate. Um, this is like it when I got it. It's just a, looks like that black, the covered plastic on the throttle cable broke, but they reinforced it with the hose and it seems to work just fine. So I haven't touched it. More work than it's worth to fix that. But all new fuel lines. This is the Kunselman, um, not Kunselman. Anyways, it's the fuel enrichener for oh, when you get higher elevation, you can just lean out the uh, air mixture. Um, here's for the heater. I've got the heater plate somewhere around here. I'll be coming with it. But here's that chip I was telling you about. Um, it's just on the outer side it's not a big deal I haven't fixed it because figure it's probably gonna get another one I just pick something up off the runway So, I, I think it needs another coat. Um, I just used the paint they gave me, and I thought I matched it right, or maybe I didn't match it right, but it is a little off. Um, so, just want to make you aware of that. Here's that little boom mount I have for the 360 camera. Let me see how I made those videos with. Um, put new tires rear so it's got the fiberglass gear legs hydraulic brakes um, stop really well put a new tires front and back uh, one's for the radio one's for the ELT That's it. Uh, the tail wheel, forgot to mention, it's not, it's got like, it's junk. It's got a flat spot on it. I don't know if it just wore out or how that happened, but but it should be easy fix. I never really bothered me. Was I usually just lift it from here when I move it. Okay, I think that's all I got.